And it's clear that, you know, from, from what you're describing, you're on a journey to, to support people in lots of different ways. Um, to come back to, um, the, the, the marketing angle from, for helping Polish businesses enter the UK, can you kind of elaborate a little bit on that in the first yeah. place? Like, why is that a challenge for Polish companies? It stems out of my personal experience because I, uh, uh, I started like maybe 10 or 12 years ago, um, trying to develop some sales, uh, generally, uh, to, to, to the EU because the company before that was kind of limited to Polish market and I started with Denmark. So we, st we tried to do direct sales to Denmark because Denmark, you know, it's a three, four days of delivery. So it's not that bad. And the product is the same that you, that you sell almost everywhere. So that should work. So we had a guy who had, you know, excellent, uh, excellent, uh, well, it was American accent because he was born in the, in the New York. So we, we hired the guy, we hired another person who was also an excellent English speaker, not like me, but it was like, you know, a really fluent native speaker. And, um, they started to talk, talking with those, uh, Danish, uh, somewhere everywhere or all, all around the Denmark. So yeah, we gathered like 150 customers. We were testing our product at maybe 50 after tests, maybe 30 customers started some kind of cooperation. And after one year I failed as actually when any trouble came around with that product, they just wanted to describe the problem in their language. So I had this experience and I said, okay, direct B2B doesn't work. You have to get a, you know, some intermediary in, in between, right? And uh, from, from my perspective, uh, it was strange because in Denmark, it didn't work. In Iceland, for example, it worked, but it worked with Polish people who went to work in Iceland. Mm -hmm. I think there are around the same number of Polish people as Icelanders right now. With the UK market, which I, which I, well, I, I, I which, which I was also good to know a bit because I was in a very direct cooperation with one of the companies based in Scotland, Gendra. Uh, difference that I could uh, tell was that um, uh, British companies, uh, um, I would say, uh, benefit driven in their choices, in their business choices. Mm -hmm. Um, Polish companies, German companies, or Italian companies, uh, and engineers and staffs, uh, they're all feature driven, which means that if you meet with uh, somebody from Germany and so on, you talk about diameters, meters, kilograms, uh, efficiency, um, you know, whatever, um, capacity and the way of, uh, British people, it's always about, okay, now tell me how many pounds can I save uh, per minute by buying this machine and so on. What exact benefit do I receive? Do I, can, I, can, 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 I, can I write to my company uh, that when, when I use your offer? So it's, it's so much more like uh, mercantile and it's so much more, uh, and maybe Dutch people are kind of similar, but anyway, it's. I think it has something to do with your whole, uh, sea history with, you know, this, uh, being the empire of the seas and so on. Uh, and same with Dutch because they also have this, uh, I'd say, I think, I think, I think that that's the word mercantile view on, um, on purchasing 